just head to our website at fox59.com. Hey, there's a lot going on because mm -hmm. today's the first day of Gen Con at the Indiana Convention Center. Gamers near and far, they're right here in the Circle City today for the largest tabletop gaming convention in the country. It's always a huge event and Fox 59's Claire Curry visited some of the exhibits. She joins us live tonight with a look at all the fun going on inside. Hey, Claire. That's right. I'm here at Gen Con and I've been exploring everything inside all day today. And as you can tell behind me, it's packed with people. The best four days of gaming have been set in Indianapolis for the last 20 years. And it actually sold out ahead of time ahead of this year's convention. Now, gamers are able to share their new games that are just hitting the market. And people are able to buy trading cards and unique dice, as well as meet some of their favorite characters or even come cosplaying as them. But the main appeal is their tabletop role-playing games, which I was actually able to sit down and play some myself. Dungeons and Dragons is celebrating their 50th anniversary and brought many gamers in from across the globe. Dungeon Master Grant Sprinkle taught me the basics as he's been helping others here at the convention. I've already run several games with people who had never played it before. So kind of being able to like, you know, help someone introduce a game that I love for the first time, you know, is really important to me and I love being able to share that with others. So you'll be safe. He's what I would call an expert playing for over nine years, one game lasting him four years long. He says he's looking forward to coming or to playing with the new rule books coming out in a little over a month. Again, the convention is four days long, wrapping up this Sunday, August 4th. Reporting downtown, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News. All right, Claire, thank you so much. Coming up first at four as construction continues to affect local businesses.